are joined now by Keith Rubel from the Vigo County Parks Department. We are here to talk about Pioneer Days. Right. This, Abby, is our 38th oh, Pioneer wow. Days. Oh, wow. And it's a fall event that uh, we've, the Vigo County Park Department, has been putting on for those years. And we've uh, uh, always looked forward to having people come down, especially children. Uh, even though <clears throat> the things that are going on are old, it's something nice for children to take part in because a lot of things we do are hands-on for children. And uh, there's a lot of people down there doing things that uh, you won't see any place else because the type of crafts that are going on are unique. Uh, things that <clears throat> went on many years ago and strangely enough a lot of things that people did back then people are finding enjoyment today and I mean blacksmithing and things I and mean, a, a lot of old arts but it's just amazing what uh, what things people can pick up and learn to do for themselves and have fun there'll be a lot of food down there we, there's about 150 volunteers that to help put this on for us down oh, wow. there and uh, there'll be a lot of uh, <clears throat> uh, different unique uh, projects going on and cooking and sewing and just different things. We're going to uh, be doing hewing logs. We'll be sp like splitting shingles. Uh, there'll be people working with all different types of woodworking, uh, blacksmithing, uh, just n unique things going on, cooking outside and just nice little things. A little bit of everything. Now, yeah. when's this going to take place? It'll take a place this Saturday, the 2nd, and Sunday, the 3rd. Okay. And from 9 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, just come down. It's free to get in. We do charge $2 to park. Where is it going to be held? At Fowler Park, seven miles south of Terre Haute. Wonderful. And it's a great event. Bring out the entire family. That's right. Looks like there's going to be a lot of things to see and do. And thankfully, the storm team has provided some good weather, it looks right. like. About time David Warr came through. <laughs> Now we could we could use a little bit of rain. We'll I have know, to ask we for could. We need, not next weekend, maybe. We need some rain, but we don't need a tub th tub thumper. Right, no. right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it, and thank, thank you for you. bringing this really great event to our community. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. it. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you, Abby. And coming up after the break, meteorologist David Weir will have another check of our Wednesday afternoon forecast. But first up, you might want to put Pioneer Days on your calendar for this weekend. It's coming up October second and third out at Fowler Park. It's from nine a.m. to five p.m each day. And if you'd like some more information, there's a phone number on your screen. You're watching News 10 at Midday. We'll be right back.